So with Hurricane Ian fast approaching Florida, we are basically in the eye of the storm, the path. This can be like a Cat 2 hurricane, which is over 100 miles an hour winds when it gets to us. So everybody around Florida right now is prepping for the worst, freaking out, buying gas they don't need, and all this other crazy crap. But uh, we're definitely going to be ready for it. But for now, we're not going to stop making videos. The Peterbilt's all clean and shiny now. Um, some of you say it's fake, some of you say it's real. Believe what you want, guys. We had a fun time making some videos. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, but back to making some good old content. We're headed to Jim's Tire. I ordered all new tires. They came in today for white collar of the cab over. We're going to be mounting those on the wheels. We're waiting on lug nuts and studs to come in for that, so we're not going to be getting the wheels put on it. But right now, we'll get, oh, try to get all the 10 tires and wheels mounted. So we're we'll putting Ryan to work today, mounting 10 semi tires. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go grab some lunch first and we'll be back soon. Let's freaking go get these tires, baby. These are going to look good on there, ain't they? Mm -hmm. I like the open, open sidewall there. Looks mean. 16 ply, baby. Go sled pull with these things. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> We're back here in the office at the shop, guys, and we're going to be working on the white cab over this week, pending hurricane stuff. I've got some parts ordered for it, but I did just order this aluminum um, saddle mount hydraulic tank so we can take that big hydraulic tank that's up on the deck plate of the truck get rid of it and put one down on the side right next to the fuel tank and we've got this baby hopefully to be here by friday or maybe saturday it's going to definitely clean the look of that truck up big time and in the middle of trying to find some aluminum fuel tanks for it those are going to clean it up big time also but for now this is on the way so for now we've got to go see about getting the tires mounted on these wheels we got to clean a few things up in the shop so let's go get to doing that all right we're going to park this old girl in the freaking trailer and take it home we're gonna be shoving a bunch of stuff inside this shop we're gonna put our wheels and tires in here mount them in here too uh-oh not good there we go it's alive this thing is so bad i love it is in the vlog today but shout out to our friends over at buytruckwheels.com man these are some nice wheels Woo. shiny shiny boys already got valve stems in them these are their own wheels that they manufacture and sell north star dang son hey <laughs> it's gonna look so freaking fresh boy <laughs> all right wow dang dang so we got that right there i guess we'll mount a steer up first what do you say come here ryan 
Yep. Okay. Keep your distance, Come pal. Where you going? I don't want that on me. <laughs> now, if I do this right, it should fall right on, right? Maybe. We're gonna mount like one on camera, and then we're gonna roll some um, time lapse. Time lapse, because I don't want to bore our viewers with our with our acting and fake content here. But now that we're getting back to our roots, we'll make some cool stuff. I'm sure you don't. What in the world? I tried. Did you stop filming? No. You're still filming? I'm still filming. Want some? No. Come here. <laughs> Is it nice and lubed up? Oh yeah. Getting, <clears throat> the, rim, getting the rim treated right. Ready? Yep. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Wipe some of this googly gloppity gloop off my hands here. It should fall off to some extent. Go in your hole. Dang. Hey, one side down. One side. 19 more sides to go. Ooh. Fun. It's going to be a long day. We do need some tire iron, so I've got some right here. Look at them go. Can't wait to put a scratch on these new wheels. Oh. <laughs> I guess in theory I should only need one tire iron. We'll see. Woo, baby. Like butter. No scratches. Oh, I better quit talking. Oh. 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 It's like one of those 90 workouts. When you jump on a trampoline. <laughs> Woo, I'm worked out. Touching. All right. The rest is your job. Oh, okay. See you later. See ya. So being that these are so new, we really don't have to ever blow them on or anything with a tire um, gun or anything like that. So right on they go. Shoot. Dang, boy. Shoot. Looking Chris, good? Looks good. For sure. Wow. Looks really freaking good. Nine more to go. Nine more to go. So we got all 10 tires mounted up on our wheels from bytruckwheels.com. They are 22.5 aluminum forged wheels. Um, really nice stuff. We got them dirty in the process. We're gonna have to clean them up and hand polish them. But they're all on. Ryan mounted some tires for the first time. You definitely used a lot of lube, son. Well, it went this on. This kid went from putting a little bit on, like I said, to just putting the whole bucket on it. <laughs> so. With that being said, now we're gonna have to wipe them off really good 
And you know, you're gonna find out real quick how easy a semi truck will spin a wheel inside a tire. Really? So this tire will be sitting still and get so much weight on it and these wheels are just gonna spin. Because so I think next week we're gonna take this truck and go do some logging in the woods. Oh, that, that'll my be. my Uncle Donnie, so that'd I'm excited fun. about that. The wet kit and all that stuff's on the way. Ooh. This air truck's really nice. You can put it on there and leave it because it's got like these grips inside there, but you'll forget. So you gotta watch yourself. All right, they call for 120. I'm just putting 110 in them. It should be fun. more than good enough. Um, more than good enough? More than enough, enough of good. Yeah. Enough <laughs> of good. So we don't have the lug nuts for the rears yet, but for now we're gonna pull it up here, get the front ones put on it, see how it looks at least. And uh, man, these tires are gonna look freaking meaty. Got the big meats big old. on the back. And if we do decide to do some sled pulling or something, the more I think about it, that little white Volvo is gonna be like a sweet little truck if we were to put like that B model cat in it and turn it up. Top notch. I think we should take the B model cat, bring it in here, build it, like make her bad. Paint it. No, I mean like bad. Decompress it, put some big injectors in it, and make it bad. And these tires are like perfect for sled pulling. Yeah, they do got some knots on them. Well, see how they're like open sidewall there? Yeah. Should be good. All right, let's get that thing pulled up here. Blue collars back there. I backed it up to the trailer. We're trying to like kind of storm prep somewhat. Uh, the storm's still like headed basically directly to us, maybe just a little south of us by like 50 miles, but we're gonna get a lot of rain. Um, I dug some drainage dishes around back behind the shop. But for now, we got pretty much everything in the center away from any trees that might fall and hit anything. Um, we're gonna pull both trucks up out of the way from the trees in case those trees decide to fall. These are really, really old oak trees, so let's get it pulled up here. baby it's gone I'll tell you all about it it's gone <laughs> so we don't have a big bottle jack here anymore and I got rid of my old semi jack so I'm cheating we got the forklift all forky here I went ahead and coated these lug nuts with some um, PB blaster yeah look at that uh oil hub here is leaking missing some bolts here i'm gonna see about getting some of those build aluminum ones with some nice lug nut covers to go on here but for now um we'll get these things unbolted off of here it's gonna look good got her going well come over here ryan let's show the people while we we're taking these things off those lug nuts were not happy and i'm kind of tempted to not I think what we're gonna do is bolt two of them up for now and not bolt any more than this, those two, just to hold it. Cause it, I don't I just don't wanna reuse these old lug nuts cause it really kind of foobarred the threads in some of these things. So we may have to break out the wire brush, clean these threads up some. Ooh, these steel wheels are so heavy. All right. So these tires, they're super dry rotted. Let's look at the date code. There's gotta be a date code on here somewhere. Chinese are made in China. Maybe this is the date code. I don't know. Maybe you could show this people. It says 146 slash 143. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's on the other side. Let's check the other side. They got good tread. They are dry rotted badly. Yeah, look at the backside, how terrible that is. That's just like an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see like an actual date code on them. But they are definitely old, that dry rot. There's nothing to play with. All right, Bruce. Let's see. Nothing. These wheels. Got it going? Yeah. 
All right, here we go. Let's get this girl put on there. I had a customer come, and our microphones are dead now, so. I'm like so tempted to not even put the wheels on it yet and just like paint the frame. Comment down below, should we wait to bolt all this nice shiny stuff to it and just go ahead and paint the frame? I think it would look good. What do you think, Ryan? I think it looked, yeah, I, yeah, I think put them all on now. You don't want to wait and paint the frame? Well, don't you want to be rolling in class before you pull up, take them off, then paint could, the frame, put them back on? We can paint the frame in like no time. I would just get here in the morning and I'd say, Ryan, here's the sandpaper. You have the rest of the day to sand the whole frame down. Sandpaper. I'll take the sanding gun. All right, well, let's let this thing down. We'll get one wheel put on it for now. At least one wheel. We gotta see something. Baby, we put some. Definitely, should need to put some more blaster on here because this thing is not. Find a lug nut that's not messed up. I've got all new lug nuts and new studs for the rear. So let me break for a second. Come here. You don't have microphones, so you gotta get close so people can hear us. So these inner studs right here. There's a stud on the back side of the wheel, and then this right here tightens up the inside wheel. Then you have another lug nut right there. It's really hard to explain without taking it apart and showing you. We're waiting on new studs like this that are longer and special designed for aluminum wheels. So we'll have those in the week, depending on what this hurricane does. So whenever those show up, we'll be able to put the back wheels on it. Also a stud behind the camera. Oh, who are you talking about? It's not yourself. <laughs> you mean a stud in front of the camera. Oh, I don't know about that one. All right, I'm gonna ram jam these things down on here. Let's see how it looks. It's gonna look good. Ooh, this thing's gonna look so fresh when we get it done. All chrome bone. Oh yeah. Chrome bumper. We definitely gotta get like the chrome oil caps for the center. It's gonna look so good. Can't wait. For sure. So uh, the oil tank I've shown you all that we ordered is gonna go right here. It's 15 inches wide. It holds 25 gallons. I know that right there is probably closer to like 40, maybe 50-ish. But we really don't need 50 gallons of hydraulic oil for this trailer. Um, it doesn't have like those big, huge cylinders for like the uh, detach. So. I think we can get away with the one I've ordered. So we're gonna remove this canister here. I really don't know what this is. I still think it's some kind of an air tank. I don't know. I think it's it's gotta be some kind of an air tank here. But it doesn't have a drain, so I'm not quite sure. But whatever this is, we're gonna have to move it to the inside or move it somewhere else. Let's crack it open and find out. No, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna put the hydraulic tank right here get rid of that, get rid of this standing piece right here, and move our air lines down. We're going to keep the pogo stick, but I'm going to try to reorganize my hydraulic lines that we made because they are a little long. But clean up this whole space right here. That's going to look nice and flat when we get the deck plate put on there. It's really going to transform the look of this thing. I'm on the hunt for an aluminum fuel tank, so I looked up some on one website, and they're like $1,200 a piece, which I'm not spending that much on fuel tanks. I can tell you that right now but I'm sure they are not cheap, but these are steel. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're not aluminum. And chrome is gonna get us home, so we've gotta have chrome. But I guess that's it for now. Wheels on there, it's looking fresh. Like, let's roll one of those over here right there. Let's roll one over here. Just one. Meaty time. Mm throwing stuff at me. Caught on camera. Shoot. Shoot. Dang, boy. 
You gotta be looking fresh. You're not even recording, cool. are you? I am are you recording. Sure recording. I'm doing my job, man. It's looking fresh. So check back. I don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow's video, we're gonna be driving into the hurricane and uh, trying not to get hurt. There it is. It's gonna look sick with the wheels on it. I'm looking for fuel tanks. Guys, if you can find me, know where I can find a 26 inch diameter, right? The diameter of the fuel tank. This spot by 46 inches long, roughly, is what I need. 26 by 46, 44, 45, 46, somewhere in there long. That's the size fuel tanks I need in aluminum. I prefer brand new. You got a brand new aluminum tank here with the hydraulics, brand new wheels going on it, and we've got some brand new quarter fenders going on it. So you guys can find me those fuel tanks. Drop some links in the comments that really help us out to really broaden our search because maybe someone has some better hookups than we do. And I'm trying not to spend another 1,200 bucks because we just spent basically $10,000 in tires and wheels here. Um, <laughs> But attached. shout out to bytruckwheels.com for setting us up with these wheels and uh, we really appreciate their support but before we end the video we're going to go in the merch room and announce the winner of our first grease gun number one out of four so let's go find out who it was so we're here in the merch room we've got our milwaukee grease gun here and battery and charger set <laughs> our winner is jared Lindsay from seymour missouri jared we're going to be shipping this thing out in your order. Everybody else that entered, I really appreciate everyone getting entered. Your order should be headed to you very soon if they haven't already got to you. I really appreciate everyone entering. If you didn't win, get entered in. We're still starting it from today all the way till next Monday at midnight. Get entered to win the second grease gun and battery and charger pack. Make sure y'all smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Help me find some fuel tanks. We'll see y'all later. Peace.